Uh oh. Yeah, he called the balk. And Mark Burley can't believe it because he's been using that move for as long as he's been in the league. And for as long as he's been in the league, that's been very effective. This time, Joe West on the job. Watch it again. I'm having a hard time seeing where that's a ball. Now Joe's going to give him some argument because Mark's saying, why do you do? Joe, just get over there and umpire, will you? Yeah. I'm just get over there and umpire. No, that's all. No, Ozzie's coming out to talk with Joe, and what he's going to say is. Joe looks like he is looking for problems with us. Well, he's telling Ozzy, don't come out. He's going to throw Ozzy out of the game if he does. I tell you, the last couple of years, Mr. West has had some problems with the White Sox. Well, I'm. And now he's telling Ozzy to get. You, you know, he's, he knew that he was going to throw he's, him he's out. He's a joke. He's up. becoming a joke, is what he's doing. He's becoming a joke to the umpiring profession. Well, Mark Burley has been using that same move since he's been in his league. I've taken a look at that move for quite some time. I also have as many years in the league and more years, I believe, as Joe West. Uh, Joe. And that was not a ball. Joe is uh, it's getting to be that time, I think, for Mr. Joe West. I was thinking about it, but you know, we talked about it. He's called a balk again. And yeah, now he just throws him he, out of the ball. Joe Burley, I'll tell you what, he deserves, Joe West deserves a suspension. That's what he does. He needs a rest. Well, he, he needs a rest. He's interjected himself into this game and hurt our chances to win the game. Mark Burley can't believe it. I'll tell you what, Mark Burley, Mark Burley is one of, Joe West just wanted to stick it right up his behind, and he did. He, he should be suspended. That is that is a flat out absolute disgrace to the umpiring profession what this guy has been doing. Well you've got Angel Hernandez is trying to get in the way of both Don Cooper and get Mark Burley out so Burley isn't suspended. This is one of the most mild mannered guys around. And West doesn't care. No he does not care. Another throw to first makes call for a balk again. Oh, that's ridiculous. Burley just got tossed. Uh, Joe West, seriously. I mean, he really he threw his glove on the ground and he threw him out for throwing his equipment. Been there. I mean, that's no, that's bad. Joe West has obviously got it out for Mark Bailey. That wasn't a balk. Uh, not from where I'm sitting. He actually he did not step to home plate. They've got the line drawn out there. He stepped towards first. Unless he's saying he crossed his leg over. He may bring it past the pitching rubber. Right. Unless he crossed his leg over the pitcher's rubber. Don Cooper now is out there, and he's uh, animated, to say the least, along with Burley. Burley will head to the dugout, and he's very upset. Throw over, and now he's going to call another Bach, and Burley threw his glove down. He's gone. He called another Bach, and Burley walked on the, off the mound in disgust, threw his glove down, and Joe West has just ejected Mark Burley from the ball game. And he has walked behind first base down the line on the grass with his arms folded in front of him saying to Burley, come on over. Boy, you just knew. You had the feeling that if there was another one that was going to be close, that Joe West was going to call a balk, and that he did. And it's always been Joe West's personality, but the bottom line is... Whether you agree with the call or not, Mike, Mark Burley caught a break when he wasn't ejected last inning, and Ozzie Gian took the bullet for him. 